And there's the 20,500. Now, now you'll note we have one more over here that is a deposit on our books, but it's not on the bank statement. Is that a problem? Uh, in theory, not necessarily. It happened on the 25th, so it should have cleared by now. So I'd be like, what's going on with it? If I, if I pass it, if I entered it on the 25th to the bank and it hasn't cleared, that's kind of an issue. But if I go to my bank statement, because remember, I'm doing this as of the end of January. So I could, sh so, I mean, I'm, but that means I didn't get the bank statement itself until sometime in February. So I could go to the, my online banking and say, hey, did this one clear in February? If it did, then I'm like, whew, that's not really a problem. It cleared the bank. It just, ha it just happened after the cutoff date. So I'm not really worried about that one. It's just going to be a reconciling item. It's going to be a timing difference. It's going to be one of those items that shows up here uh, on the reports as an un uncleared uh, transaction, right? On our my bank reconciliation reports. So 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 that's what's so that's fine. So that's going to be the process. So now uh, at this point in time, I've got the twenty five thousand doesn't match the beginning balance, but I know that that's an issue we're going to touch on. This one now. Uh, does tie out the 143.07085 ties out uh, to to this one so that's right now so that is good if I get the deposits if I get the payments correct then I should be good except for that five thousand dollar difference I have to deal with now notice that this number doesn't tie out to what we entered in the system because we also entered this in the system but but I'm talking about my cleared balance, the ones that we checked off, the ones that are matching, the ones that are mirroring what's on the bank statement. Now, one more thing to point out here before we sign off on this one.